Bob Stoops and Kevin Gilbride looking for big performances from their teams today as the 2-2 two two New York Guardians hit the road to take on the 2-2 two two Dallas Renegades in Week 5 action of the XFL on Fox. Nelson to the air again. Going downfield, Freddie Martino with the catch. Well, that's a way to get the young quarterback started. Yeah, that's a great ball right there. Just a terrific pass from Philip Nelson up and over the top and then a little separation right there at the end. And does he get a foot down? There's control. It looks like, well, no, hadn't had control that uh, they need to stop this because that, folks, was not a catch and they did not get it stopped in time. Get us eight for eight on the season. Most field goals in the XFL. He's nine for nine after getting that 23 yarder through. Huge, huge win for Jim Herman. Justin Stockton drops the kickoff. Gets through a hole. Maybe to his advantage. Beats the kicker. Now we'll try to outrun everybody. Caught from behind. Great return. Donna Totello Brown saved the touchdown, but what a recovery by Justin Stockton, 59 yards on that one. I gotta tell you, how many times do you see it where there's a little bit of a bobble by a return man, whether it's a punt or a kickoff, and it's this bobble, it just throws everybody off for some reason. He picks it up, and then he's gone right there. He makes a decisive move right up the middle of the field, and then he turns on the Jets and sets up his Guardians with great field position here, plus side of the 50 at the 40-yard line. What a return. And he stays perfect. Wow. And there it goes. Close safety, middle field. You can hear Nelson directing traffic. Hooks up with his tight end, Sean Price, for a first down. Nelson going deep down the sideline. No flags on the play. Freddie Martino, the intended receiver. Behind, behind. Dallas jumped again. Flags out. Free play for Perez, who runs it. Showing some wheels. Nice gain on the run by Perez. About the job he did on Cam Phillips last week. Here comes the blitz. They go that way for McHale. Goes up and pulls it down. That's what happens when you're six foot five. What a catch right there. Look at this ball placement as well from Perez. He knows he's got the height advantage. He goes up the ladder, and then McKay's able to get up there and secure the ball. Strong hands at the catch point. Even. All kinds of time for Perez. Another connection, T.O. Redding, and that will be a first down inside the 20. And now New York begins to pick it up in chunks, this time 23 yards. What happened on the first few series is that Perez didn't have any time. Watch the pocket on this play. He's got plenty of time. He's able to get to the third man in the progression, step into his throw, and deliver an absolute strike down the field to pump it and get it back into the end zone. They go to the top. And along the sideline, Tio Redding just going to be out of bounds when he caught it. Tristan Deku, good coverage by the defensive back. When you see or hear one of those just tags on the end, like, hey, X fade or something like that, if you get in one-on-one -on -one situation as a quarterback with that tagged route, you're going to take it all day long. And, boy, didn't it look like he yeah. potentially gained control? There's a foot. And there's a second. It, remember, you only need one foot inbounds. Ford to call uh, count Boy, as a completion. That looked very good. Coaches can't challenge, and the replay booth doesn't stop it. I don't know what our replay booth is doing today. They should. Four yard field goal attempt by Matthew McCrane. Who stays perfect on the year, now 10 for 10. Jared Cook, Alvin Kamara. I mean, there's just so many different avenues that he can take to make a big play. So when he does adjustments, just like uh, young Philip Nelson has been doing, he's just trying to see exactly what the defense is going to do if they're in disguise, if they're not. Consistent play, which leads to some of that belief from your teammates. Here's Justin Stockton now in it, running back. Cuts it back. And a nice run by Stockton. New York averaging about six and a half yards a carry right now. Stockton again. Another big run, another double-digit gain. This time, 12. Needing two yards of what has been a run-heavy drive. They go to the air. And that's complete. Kobe Pearson fighting. We'll see if he made it. Tristan Deku was there wrestling with him. And it looks like he's going to be short. It's, it's right in the review, middle of the screen. The ruling on the field stands. First down, Dallas. One. 
Blitz picked up. Nelson, wide open, Donald Parham, first down and more. And the six foot eight tight end fights his way down to the 15 yard line. Perfect play. Gonna slip through and then he's gonna get onto the corner route. Look at the heavy play action. Now Philip Nelson rolls to his right and Parham is wide open. A little bit of a bust in protection, or excuse me, in coverage there from New York. Can't let the 6'8 guy be that wide open down the field. to McGinnis. Gets his second field goal of the day. Chances. Here comes the pressure. McKay grabs that one. Once again, using his size and going up and getting it. Taking it all the way to midfield on a 19-yard game. Yeah, Dallas wanted a push off there, and they might have a case here to be made. Watch here at the very end. Just a bit of a push there where there's grabbing going on on both ways as Donatello Brown was in coverage, but McHale comes back and makes the play after an easy drop. Here's Perez. McHale, double digits and more. Another big play as they get in a rhythm here to start this second half. Give them 26. And how about the pressure that was in the face? Check out the pressure on this side, and Perez is going to get absolutely decked. He goes up, gets the high snap, knows he's going to get hit, delivers the ball outside, and McKay finally goes upstairs and gets it. Two catches in a row now for McKay, and he's able to corral it, turn around, get some more positive yards. Really Ready? Ready, hunt, hunt. Handoff, Victor. Darius Victor, the former North Carolina Tar Heel, and he runs it on a draw play right into the end zone. Let's go, great call. Hey. Nowhere to go. Flags come flying as well. Preparing for this game and then clearly throughout the day here today. And more and more in a rhythm as Perez goes up. Michaela winds up handing it right to the defender, Josh Hawkins. McHale tried to one-hand it. There's a fight going on in the middle of the field and a couple of players without helmets on right now as well. Well, the officiating crew trying to get this under control. And for New York, Derek Dennis comes in to play left tackle after the ejection of Jaron Jones. Perez. Colby Pearson breaks the tackle and there he goes. Bye-bye. Touchdown, Guardians. 80 yards. Micah Abernathy, number 21, the safety, had the angle, and he went in for a big hit and didn't wrap up. Pearson stayed on his feet. Watch as Abernathy, he's going to come over from this side as a safety. He's got the angle right there. He sees the eyes. He's headed over, and he can make the play. It's going to be a big play, but he can make the play and get him down to the ground. He slips the tackle, and Pearson goes the distance for a touchdown. What a huge play for New York, who told us they wanted desperately to get more explosive in their offense. Ready, hot. Here's Perez looking for the two-point conversion. They get it. Ball batted in the air and intercepted. That certainly won't help. Ryan Mueller, he takes it in for the score. And suddenly, New York is pouring it on. As they go for one. Off the play fake for McKay. Put those big hands out there and adds one more to it. The lowest scoring team in all the XFL, averaging just 12 points a game. And right now they've got 27, having settled down with the change Luis Perez over the last couple of weeks. And here's Austin Walter. That may be the answer that Dallas is looking for. Takes the kickoff return all the way back for the touchdown. 92 yards. This is a great little scheme from Dallas. Watch right here. You're going to get a block cross this way and cross this way. That opens up the lane. See those two guys cross? Now they get the lane opened up, and then it's speed. Down the sideline as Walter takes it the distance. But just that little change. That putt just got off. 
Glenn Nagel bobbles it. And he lost the football. New York has recovered. That's kind of what I was thinking yeah. they wanted to do. That's what Mangus wanted. Mikhail's sitting there like, hey, man, <laughs> give me a catch this New York defense hey, off guard. Which has been aggressive all day, New York has. That ball batted in the air and picked off again. Another defensive lineman with an interception. This time is Toby Johnson. Demetrius Cox was the defender who knocked the ball in the air. And we talked about how aggressive this New York defense has been. It pays off once again with the turnover. Yeah, I, I don't really know what Nelson is looking at because he's going to have a defender right in the zone area and he tries to force the ball to Parham, but Parham even is not expecting the ball because he's covered. If anything, that ball needs to go behind Parham where the zone is opened up, but Nelson panics just a, a hair and then throws the ball leading Parham into the defender. That's just poor recognition from the quarterback and New York again makes a big play. They Needing the 31. Thrown high, incomplete. And that'll do it for Dallas offensively. I'm not even going to say it. Well, that's what I thought they might do instead of using the timeout. There's no reason to sneak here. And he falls forward right. safely okay. to end the ball game. So not New York the right strategy, gets his first. But it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked for them to get their first road win of the season. New York goes to 3-2. and two. They knock off Dallas 30-12. to 12.